Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to my Not a Tell Us Guide, Tell Us Guide. A few years ago, I was trimming with pride, but then I looked at the Rex and I let out a sigh. I couldn't do Tell Us. I almost rage quit and cried. That's right, I tried. I suffered and died. What do I wish that I had at the time? A no-nonsense explanation of exactly what to do to just get the kills without thinking it through. Cause I know PVM can be hard. It was for me too. So if you want to trim comp, but you don't like to PVM, just sit back, relax, and I'll help you, my friend. If you've seen any of my other relatable guides before, you'll already have an idea of what I'm going to bring. We're busting out the old sea singer with scavenging and looting. Name a better duo. I'll wait. When I did this achievement, Animate Dead didn't exist, but it sure does now. You can already see where this is going. Why play the game in hard mode when we can animate dead and chill? As long as you have a shield and some decent food, you can get a Telos 100% kill and be on your way to trim in no time. For this super chill method of getting the achievement done, bring a power burst of vitality. Other than that, you just need a positive attitude and your big booty DPS. I'm going to bring a ripper demon, but you will be able to yak your way through this easy peasy lemon squeezy. When I was working on trim, this was one of the last requirements that I attempted and I left it for last because I really felt like I couldn't do it and everyone at the time was telling me it was the hardest thing ever. So you know what? I'm here to tell you that you can do it and it's not the hardest thing ever. You're a literal gaming legend and you're going to do great. Breathe in. Breathe out. You got this. Now let's go kick some Telos butt. Warning, watching this guide may be triggering for more experienced viewers. If you experience symptoms while watching this guide, such as a strong sensation of restlessness, feeling of fatigue, dizziness or confusion, irritability, difficulty controlling feelings of worry, headaches or unexplained pains, you should go see Dr. Fink and strain and cannabis as soon as possible. You may be suffering from PSB, PSD, post seeing bad PVM stress disorder. If you black out when I vip pop the so much power, consider taking a break and watching another one of my videos. Anime dead and let's get to it. First, we're mostly going to ignore the colorful beams. Just make sure Telos doesn't stand in them. If he does, stand on it to block it. I'm going to walk to the corner on phases two and three as I found that that's a good place for me to start. There are a few attacks that repeat during the fight. The first is the auto attack smacks. Telos throws his arm back and slaps you silly. Pray melee and laugh in his face. If you're standing out of melee distance, Telos switches to magic auto attacks. In phases one through four, they don't hurt too bad and in phase five, they're pretty spicy. Now let's Let's talk about special attacks. First there's the tendrils. When Telos says your anima will return to the source, just hit him hard to free yourself. This will be really easy because you only do big booty damage. If you let the big bar in the screen fill up, you'll get hit with the bomb. If this happens, resonance it and keep on hitting. And make sure you keep him out of the beams. After he phases, he's gonna throw a temper tantrum and we're gonna hop to the next platform. When Telos says hold still invader, he stuns you, hits you with melee, and then stomps the yard right on top of you. Pray melee if you're not already, freedom, and move away. You can anticipate it, but we're not trying to do anything special here. And if you don't get out of the way fast enough or you're not praying melee, just eat to fool and you'll survive. Then there's the shoulder lean. Telos says Gilinor give me strength and then dips his shoulder down and leans harder than the Tower of Pisa. Just count to five and then surge away. If you don't get out of the way, you get hit with damage that at this enrage you can just eat through. Now we're going to phase again. Telos is going to throw another temper tantrum and we're going to hop to the next platform. In phase three, Telos starts to hit you with magic. You'll see the bar on the screen looks different than it did in the other two phases. There's two red areas on the left and right in a clear center. If the green bar goes to the red area to the right, you'll get hit with a shockwave that's pretty spicy. And if it goes to the left, you start to lose prayer and adrenaline. There's some golems in the room here that help tell us charge up to the right. You can kill them, but we're just going to ignore them. Do big booty DPS, keep him out of the beam, and keep your HP high just in case things happen. Like here you see that I wasn't praying melee for that special attack and it hit me pretty hard but because my HP was high I was fine. One last temper tantrum and we're off to phase 4. When Telos says let the anima consume you, he's going to throw a bomb at you. It moves pretty slow so you've got plenty of time to put on your shield and use resonance. As you can see, things change a lot in phase 4. There's three circles on the ground in the room. These are fonts. Go stand by the one closest to you. When Telos phases, he stops attacking and spawns some golems. Go stand on the circle, kill the golems, and wait for the bomb. Then hit Telos, phase him again, and run to the circle on the opposite side of the room. Do the same thing. You are going to get hit pretty hard while you're standing on the fonts, killing the golems, so make sure that you're keeping an eye on your HP and eating when you need to. You can also use Reflect, Debilitate, things like that, but I like to save my defensives for the bigger hits, just in case. 
When the blue bar is full on phase four, you get the so much power bomb. Fit pot, eat up, and you'll be fine. You can see here I did it too early, and I also missed the hold still, but because we're legend gamers, we're fine. Like I said, Telos is not as scary as it seems. Now we're going to stand on the last circle, kill the golems, and then kill Telos. I like to try to use Omni Power right before Telos finishes this attack, indicated by the bar over his head, so that way as soon as he's not immune, he's getting whacked. Yay, we did it! We killed Telos, but wait! At 100% in range, we unlock Phase 5. Now, all of the beams are going to be hitting Telos all the time. Stand in the green beam for some juicy buffs, and if you get a bleed, you can get rid of it by standing in the corresponding beam. You can tell which one you have by looking at your debuff bar. You'll also see some rocks fall on the ground throughout this phase. When you see them, move away from where you're standing. A rock slide is about to happen and you don't want to be caught in it. I'm sure you also noticed that there's some golems attacking me. Because you're a legend who only does big booty damage, you probably won't even get the insta-kill bomb. But if you do, you can charge the correct bomb by standing near it and killing the golems. When Telus is going to drop the big bomb, use the charge circle and you're good to go. The golems match the color of the font that they charge. But we're not here to deal with the mechanics as they were intended, so what are we going to do? Immortality works here, so get to 100% adrenaline, which shouldn't be hard because you're in the green stream, and immort like your life depends on it, because it dies. Alternatively, just don't do anything, lose your sign of life, eat up, and finish the kill. I mean, we're not trying to do well after all. And remember, there's no judgment here. If phase 5 is too much right now, just be the legend that you are, get to phase 5, and throw a dart at his face. So don't be scared of this trim comp achievement. There's an option that's going to work for everyone. Thanks for watching my Not a Tell Us Guide Tell Us Guide. Happy trimming! If you had a good time, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time, friends!